Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and today we're going to can something. And this is something you might not have thought of before, but it's something that gives you a little bit of bang for your buck. A little, uh, uh, it's something kind of simple, but you get a lot of use to it. And while I'm waiting on the water to uh, to come up, basically I just put two uh, two inches of water in my pressure cooker, and then I just took my jars and filled them up with regular water to one inch of headspace. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to can this at uh, 15 PSI for 30 minutes, right? And you might ask, why the heck would you can water? Well, one thing is it sterilizes it, right? Uh, nothing's going to survive being in the pressure cooker for 15 minutes at, at uh, or, or 15 PSI for 30 minutes. But also, um, this gives me a little bit of water storage, and it, it keeps my cans in use, right? Instead of having a bunch of cans sitting on the shelf getting dusty, you know, at least, uh, you know, I've got water in them, right? So the inside isn't getting all musty and dirty and, and whatever, right? So as long as I keep these things sealed after I pressure can them, they're going to be okay, right? Now, uh, when I've done some disaster work, whatever, and we give out water, we've had some issues with expired water. And, uh, you know, we make kind of a joke because water's not going to expire. But what happens is when you store it in plastic, it's going to pick up uh, some of the, the, the plastic is going to leach into the water. And after a while, especially if you store it in, in, in warm or hot environments, it's going to pick up some bad taste and, and because of the chemicals. Well, because this is glass, it's not going to, uh, to age like that. The glass isn't going to leach anything into it. So this gives me um, stored pure water that I know is okay and it keeps my cans in use. So we're just going to uh, put the lid on here. And we're just going to wait till the steam starts coming out. It gets up to temperature and steam starts coming out. And then we're just going to put the weight on there. And uh, like I said, we're going to pressure can this at 15 PSI for 30 minutes. And if something happens and it drops below 15, then we'll restart the timer. It's very important that, that you have it at the correct PSI for the correct amount of time. Okay, and so we'll just come back when all this is done. I don't think you need a canning video, right? Thanks.